Now, some breaking news in Norfolk. We're getting a first look at the man shot and killed by a police officer yesterday. Now, the whole thing happened at the Wells Fargo Bank on 21st Street and Colonial Avenue in Ghent. Police say 22 year old Joshua Johnson hit an officer with his car, but was shot and killed by police. Tony Sides Ann McNamara just spoke to Johnson's family. She's live now in Norfolk with the latest. Ann? Yeah, Don, we're over here in Park Place in front of Andy's Barber Shop, and that's because this is where Johnson worked. It's one of the last places he went before he went to the Wells Fargo with his girlfriend in a car yesterday. That was right before all of this happened. Now, let's take a look at Johnson. This is a first look only on Wavy TV 10. This is a picture from his family. They tell us that 22 year old Johnson's death is not justified. They are obviously very upset by what happened. Now, what we gather from witnesses and from what police tell us is yesterday afternoon, Johnson and his girlfriend drove up into the drive through of that Wells Fargo. They tried to cash a fraudulent check, at which point the teller refused the check. Then there were two police officers, one that approached the vehicle from the front, one that approached the vehicle from the back. At that point, we're told by witnesses that Johnson put the car in reverse, hitting that officer in the back. It's not clear if he knew that officer was there, and that's one of the things we're going to talk to the family about. They are not so sure he did know that officer was there. At that point, the officer in the front were told by witnesses shot at the driver who was Johnson and Johnson died in the driver's seat was still in the driver's seat when we got on the scene yesterday. So that's the situation here and we're learning from the family and from friends here at Andy's Barbershop that Johnson worked several jobs. He refereed basketball and football games here. He was pretty well known in Park Place and we're going to continue to gather information about his life, what kind of person he was all day and we're going to bring you updates tonight on Wavy News 10 at 5 including an interview with his family. Live in Norfolk, I'm Ann McNamara. 10 on your side. All right, Ann, thank you much. We're hoping the officer will be recovering.